Hi all, in this video we will be seeing how to follow movie subject with an arrow or a circle. Okay, here we have a clip of a person running and uh, we will try making an arrow following his movement on the field. Okay, for the arrow we will have to go to keynote and open a blank presentation here and as soon as you open it go to shapes and get the arrow uh, increase the width according to how much you want and uh, uh, we'll also try rotating it to downwards so we'll have to rotate it to 270 degrees um, let's also fill the color of the arrow so let's go to style and click on red let's also add borders so now it looks good right so now let's uh, let's export it as a png file uh, but before doing that select the background and uh, make sure that the current fill is no fill or else you'll get a blank image uh, while using it on iMovie so go to file uh, go to export to and images and select the format as png make sure uh, you've selected the text box here uh, for export with transparent backgrounds and click on next and then save the file i'll save it as arrow i'll save it in the desktop so that i can access it easier so a folder is created here for uh, the png file that i've exported so simply drag and drop it on the imovie project so select the arrow and select the option here which looks like a screen and select picture in picture so that you can position it anywhere you want so let's go to the starting of the clip and uh, let's reduce the size of the png file uh, you know we'll make it equal to the clip size and now if you see uh, let me also change it to 0, uh, 0 seconds so that uh, we'll have the arrow even at the 0th second it was 0 0.5 initially so i've changed it to 0 so basically what we have to do is follow the subject which is running with the arrow so we're going to do that using the keyframe animation so you see three boxes here right so using that we're going to do keyframe animation let's go to the starting of the clip and let's place the arrow on the person who's running and click on the button here which says add a new keyframe at the play hut so click on that and then use your right arrow key to move five frames forward as soon as you've done that move the arrow to where the subject is now once again click on add a new frame move five frames forward using the right arrow key and then move the arrow according to where the object is positioned at now keep doing this till the video ends so i've moved the arrow and then i'm going to create a new frame i'm going to move five frames ahead i'm going to keep the arrow at where it's positioned then one more frame is needed then I'll position it over here again okay now click on reset so that uh, you know everything is changed so let's see till here how uh, it has worked out so let me play it from the first so you saw that I've uh, followed the object with the arrow mark pointing at him 
till you know the first second i haven't done it for the next second yet so i hope you understood how to do it it's really simple uh you just have to use uh keyframe animation you have to keep adding a new keyframe according to where the object moves and you'll be able to do it so i hope you found this video useful thank you